everybody, Steve here, back in Abu Dhabi. As you can tell, looking around, I'm in the, the kitchen here, about to fire up some crockpot lasagna. And I've made lasagna in the crockpot before. This is gonna be more, a uh, couple of little twists. I'm gonna put some eggplant in it. Uh, I've got a, a couple of green uh, bell peppers and uh, onions, meat. Um, I, I've got some ragu sauce that I'm gonna use. So it's pretty simple. Lots of cheese. Got it. I, I, I was looking at the at the uh, cheese yesterday in the grocery store. <laughs> it was, it's all in metric. It's 500 grams. There was a 500 gram bag, and I'm like, let me go with the two with the kilogram bag, which is about two pounds, two and a half pounds of cheese. Probably not going to use all of it. I might, and we'll see. So. A little bit of, with the crock pot today, cooking and catching up a little bit. Like I said, back in Abu Dhabi, I'll tell you all about the trip back. And... All right, first thing I'm going to do is saute some onions. I've got some olive oil here that I've got heated up. I'm gonna put... This is one large onion. It's a white onion. And I'm just going to saute these up a little bit. I like to get them translucent. So I'm going to start with the, with the onions first, work these up, turn the heat down a little bit, kind of do these slow, I don't want to burn them, but I just, just uh, heat them up a little bit till they're translucent, and then I'm going to mix my ground beef in. Actually, I'll probably, I'll probably get the onions out and then, and then brown the uh, ground beef. It's pretty interesting, they call a, uh, Call it mince meat. So this is, uh, I guess that's what the Brits. Well, again, this she used to be a British uh, protectorate uh, back in the day here in the UAE, and this is where I'm. Uh, for the for those new subscribers who haven't been uh, tuning in lately, I'm here over here working as a C-17 sim instructor. In the, in the United Arab Emirates here in Abu Dhabi. And she used to be a British protectorate, so there's a lot of British influence here, a lot of British uh, terms and everything else. So I'm just kind of spread these onions around, give them a chance to kind of brown up, well not brown, but to, to cook up, cook some of the water out of them, get them translucent. Yeah, so I went home. I was home for about two weeks, and uh, I'll tell you while that's while that's cooking, let's come on over here, and I'm going to uh, nice shot of the trash can there. I uh, chop up my other vegetables, so I'm going to go with some green peppers here. Don't need the sticker. Although it is some roughage. Um, went home for a couple of weeks. It was a, man, I'll tell you what, I, I need a vacation from that vacation. Because uh, it was a whirlwind. Got home, had about a day to relax a little bit, and then we were on the road. Went up to Connecticut for Benjamin's graduation. And then I'm going to wash these vegetables off. And then... I went up there, that, that was a two-day drive up there to Connecticut from South Carolina, and then we went, uh, after the graduation, we drove, turned around, drove right back, two days back to Charleston, and we had some, and then we, we got home and the air conditioner was out, and then we, so we were there for about three or four days. And then it was on an airplane to Puerto Rico for a wedding. And we were in Puerto Rico for about three days for the wedding. And then uh, on Sunday, had to turn around and we had to get up at 3 in the morning to catch a 545 flight. Hoo-wee. Man, that was, that was rough. We took that flight back. Got back on Sunday, the... Um, was that the 29th? 
and uh, I had to turn around and leave the next day, come back here. So the flight back was uh, fairly uneventful. I flew uh, from Charleston up to Detroit and then over to JFK and then I caught my Etihad flight. Now I got on the I got a, I got to the airport to JFK. Finally got my bag, went over to the Etihad counter, and there was a line. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I'll tell you what, that's the one thing about COVID is hardly anybody flew. So if you flew, boy, it was pretty nice. You had the almost the plane almost to yourself. <laughs> And I guess it's probably a good thing because companies, how do you stay in business? But uh, anyway, yeah, it was. Uh, there was a lot of people. I'm going, oh man, it's going to be packed because it was packed coming home. And uh, but it turns out, I ended up having the whole road to myself, so I was able to stretch out and get some sleep. So jet lag really hadn't got me. Um, technique a friend of mine told me from work is like just got to make yourself stay up till midnight so that's what I've been doing forcing myself to stay up till midnight and uh, and and I'm able to sleep all night um, usually when I come back here it's waking up at 3 in the morning wide awake and it makes it pretty tough during the day to try to get anything done I still get kind of tuckered out about well early in the afternoon, well, about three or four in the afternoon, I start kind of wearing down. You just got to power through it. Coffee helps. But uh, anyway, I'm just kind of dicing these green uh, peppers up. I'm going to do the same with the other one. Uh, let me see. I need a bowl to put this in. <clears throat> Check our onions here. How we're doing. So that's a that's, uh, two-week trip. So it's not as hard as it was last summer. Last summer I went home for like a month. And uh, cuz it was so hard to get back with the covid cuz you had to quarantine and all that. So they've kind of done away with they did away with that. It's a lot easier now flying. Um, mask wise, I mean, I when I got back from the states, I uh, I got off the airplane in New York, took my mask off and didn't put the mask on again until I got back on the Etihad flight on the way home. It's pretty nice. Um, and you know what? A lot of people I've noticed in Puerto Rico were wearing masks. And I'm like, you know what? More power to you. You know, that's your choice and you want to and you feel safer wearing it good. I just I like it that it's, a, it's your choice now. So, anyway, hopefully we're almost to the end of the COVID concerns because I'm frankly kind of tired of talking about it worried about it we're still wearing masks over here in Abu Dhabi so anyway uh, I'm gonna cut up this other uh, bell pepper check my onions and then I'm gonna get the eggplant so I'll be right back all right back again so taking a look at these onions that's pretty good I'm just kind of softening them up a little bit I'll have to brown them up or anything so I'm gonna just kind of put these to the side because I'm thinking with the meat I, I mean I'll have enough of the uh, the flavor for the onions in here of course they'll be I'm gonna eventually mix them all together so so I'm gonna go with a little bit of a little bit of oil just a touch in the pan here that's olive oil just regular old olive oil. Let that heat up and then I'm gonna brown my meat up here. And I'm gonna a little bit of salt, I think. And then I'm gonna go with a little bit of this is like a puzzle. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce just to add a little bit of flavor to it. <clears throat> All right, just a little bit of salt. Yeah, 
you can admit that has omit that part if you're not wanting to do the salt thing. And then a little bit of Worcestershire to add a little bit of flavor to the meat. That was probably a couple of teaspoons. That's what I love about crock pot cooking. It's not real, not real precise. You don't have to be. Throw it in the pot, let it do its magic. So, all right, we'll let that start browning up here. Now I'm gonna take you over here and I'm gonna work on my eggplant. Now I've, I've made lasagnas before and uh, I made a vegetable one and you can uh, check up here is the link to it. And I used eggplant and I've got to be a big fan of eggplant and lasagna and I always hesitated I don't think I ever really I think I tried growing eggplant once didn't really work out and but and so I always wondered I mean what what else do you I mean eggplant parmesan what else do you use eggplant with so I'm, I'm kind of excited that I've got a, a, a use for it now putting it in this lasagna I really like the taste of eggplant. So I'm going to cut these thin and I'm going to cut these thin and I'm going to use them to add to the layer of the uh, to the lasagna. So yeah, a pretty uneventful trip. Uh, I think the only problem I had going through JFK, so I came in from Detroit and most of the people had carry-ons. So, I never had this happen before. I, I get to the baggage carousel, and I check the screen, and I see, uh, I check the screen and see that, you know, it's okay, it's going to be on carousel 10. So, I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and uh, never moved. Uh, and actually, it, no, I didn't say carousel 10. It didn't say anything. So, I think what finally happened was there were so many people that had carry-ons that, there just wasn't enough bags to even get the carousel going. So I went over to the baggage claim people and I'm like, I've never seen anything like this before. And uh, they made a couple of calls and then I kept looking around and finally I looked over on a different carousel and uh, I was like, oh, that looks like my bag and there it was, strange. So anyway, <clears throat> I got into Abu Dhabi and summer is, just about here, the humidity's starting to go up. Well, I guess summer is here, but the uh, the worst of the weather is starting to show up now. It's getting pretty hot. And cut these up here. I'm worried about whacking my fingers here. And uh, I'll get one more out of this. There we go. All right. So there's my lasagna, that's all gonna get layered in. I've got some noodles, some lasagna noodles here. And I, like I said, I got this ragu sauce that I'm gonna use to kind of make my my uh, my mix. So uh, we'll continue browning this hamburger meat up. We'll get it all browned up. We'll start mixing it up here and I'll be right back. All right, browning the hamburger up here. I'm not, I have the uh, temperature down cooking the onions. Started browning up the meat. Of course, it's browned up nicely here. There was a whole lot of liquid there. I just kind of turned the heat up, and I just want to kind of cook the liquid off. You can see all the steam here, all the water from the, the fat, and of course the water from the Worcestershire, and whatever was left from the onions. Kind of cook, cooked all through. And I'm basically looking for the most of the water to go away. All the, that's probably browned up enough. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And what I'm going to do is mix this in with the, put it in this bowl here. And I'm going to kind of pat some of the, as much of the fat off as I can. And it goes waste any of that. I'm going to get just a 
paper towel. Just kind of give it a little bit of a squeeze. You can see the some of the fat coming off of it here. Trying to soak some of that up. Now, fat is flavor, but like Nathan said last video, but too much of a good thing, you know what I mean? So that's uh that's the hamburger. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of mix the onions back in with it. I'm gonna want out and I'm just kind of experimenting here. It's the first time I tried it this way. And then I'm gonna mix my sauce in with this. And I've got two jars of the ragu. I'm 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 fairly certain that that's gonna be too much. But uh I can always save it. I've got some spaghetti noodles le left over, and I can uh, use this sauce later. Let's pour this in. I like to, I'll put the top back on, and then I'll turn it upside down for a little bit, let it sit, let it run down, try to catch all of that, and I'm gonna just kind of mix this up. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking one jar might be enough. This is just part of the lasagna mix here. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it too saucy. I think that's going to be about right. I think one jar is enough. Get a little tap here. Get a little bit extra. There's some. See. Good. And this is um, sauteed onion and garlic ragu. So pretty easy to find a lot of American things. Now there's some stuff over here that they don't um, offer just because culturally they just they just don't eat it. Obviously, pork is tough to find, but uh, I found things like cornbread and cornbread mix and things like that. They don't have that over here. All right, so I'm going to got my sauce mix together, meat, onion, sauce mix, and we'll start putting this together, so stand by one. All right, back again. So I've got my crock pot warming up. What I'm going to do, and I'm just put these noodles in dry. I'm going to lay in, put in a layer, and then I can, the nice thing about this is I can kind of break this up and uh, kind of fit these in. Just make it fit into the bottom, however you need to do it. And uh, well, these noodles feel a little different, feel easy to break. Form special for the, mo for the special moments. Egg pasta, huh? should work. I just kind of break these pieces up. Doesn't have to be real pretty. Seeing I got it lined the bottom now, I'm gonna start putting my putting putting it together. So I'm gonna put a layer of meat sauce in here. Just a just a thin layer. So we got, Bella's got a summer job. She's about to head off too. Working at a church camp this summer as a counselor. And Benjamin's got another couple of weeks and then he heads off to Portsmouth for his first posting in the Coast Guard. And then Arlene's heading out this way for a visit. I told her she she could have picked a little bit better time of the year to come out, but I think she's excited about seeing me again. That's what I, I think. <laughs> All right. Um, now I've got uh, one thing I'm going to do different this time. I've got some cottage cheese, so I'm going to put some of this in as well. And I realize I'm using the same spoon, but it's all going into the same lasagna. So all right. I don't plan on saving any of this. Cut cheese. 
it's all going in. So don't worry about the cross contamination or anything. All right, that was a whole little thing, cottage cheese. Now I'll just go with some of this, these green peppers. Nice uh, coating of it here. All right, and then for spices, I'm gonna go with some oregano. And that's probably a teaspoon there. And then I'm gonna go with some basil as well. Same thing, about maybe about a teaspoon per layer. All right. Now I usually forget stuff. So I'm gonna go with a little bit of mozzarella here on the top of this layer. I just about forgot that. If I didn't use it, I'd end up with a huge bag of mozzarella that I'd have to eat. <laughs> be like a like a snack at the movies. Just a bag of mozzarella. That wouldn't be good. That'd be terrible. All right. All right, there we go. Now it's not gonna take much here. I can already see. Um, this this crock pot's filling up fairly quick. Stuff gets bulky now. It'll cook down as it cooks. It, um, obviously, <clears throat> just kind of put these noodles down here to try to form somewhat of a layer. They'll all kind of meld together as this cooks. Give it a little bit of a push down. There we go. All right, back to the sauce. And then I'm gonna just do the same thing and layer this up and just repeat. I'll be uh, right back, show you the finished product and uh, we'll start cooking. All right, so I got it all built up. One of the last things I did, I took the noodles, kind of broke them up in smaller pieces and, and stuck them down the side, tried to get them all the way down to the bottom to kind of create a noodle coat around lasagna, I guess. Had some of these leftover uh, eggplant. I just put those on the top, a little bit of the meat sauce. The last thing I'm gonna do is top it off with some cheese, some cheese. Oh no, this is a lot of cheese. Lots of cheese on this. That's the way I like. I like a really cheesy lasagna. So, mozzarella over the top. <clears throat> now we'll see how this looks. What I might do, I'm thinking about it now, just came to me. We'll see how this looks at the end here. I might toss this in the oven if I have a broiler function, maybe try to brown the cheese on the top. We'll see, we'll see how that works. So anyway, that's it. And then the top goes on. Now I've got, it is, um, what time is it now? It's about 11 o'clock local here. I've got work tonight till about seven. So eight hours, I'm gonna just put it on low. Uh, pretty much everything's the meat's cooked, that's a big thing, and of course the vegetables will cook. Eight hours on low. All right, back from work, it's about seven o'clock tonight, so this has been cooking for about eight hours. I went ahead, the sharp observer will notice that the light's off. I turned it off, I wanna let it cool down a little bit to help it set some. But man, the smell of caramelized cheese on the top here, and when I walked in, it's was just, it's just amazing. No need to brown it. So this is a self-contained operation. You can see the noodles here are cooked, the ones that are kind of sticking up on the sides. So the liquid, the steam coming up from the, everything cooking in here that kind of came up that coated the inside of this, cooked the noodles. Of course, everything inside, I'm making that, <laughs> everything in that inside of that, obviously the noodles are cooked. I'm gonna cut this thing up 
put it on a plate and we'll be back for the taste test. So stand by one. All right, here it is. Now, one thing I like about this already noticing is it's not real soupy and sloppy. It, it really held together well. I, I cut it into the, into the, uh, into the lasagna. I'm going to show you. And see, it's still holding its shape and everything. It's not all soupy and sloppy. Uh, I can't stand the soupy, sloppy lasagna. So this, this holds together real nice. Um, a lot of the, uh, these are all the, uh, eggplant seeds and, and I don't think they're seeds from the green peppers because I cut all those out. So I think this is the, the eggplant seeds came out. That's all right. And then noodles are done and the cheese on top and all. Now it's time for the taste test. So here we go. really is cheesy and it's meaty now if you pull yours out a little soon and just stick it under the broiler real quick to get that nice caramelized cheese top and this is a uh, this is tasty hmm I'm going to try another bite lots of meat on this one I like the green peppers on it. I really love all the cheese. This is tasty. I can't wait to. Now this is. I'm gonna learn my lesson. I'm gonna cut this up. I'm gonna save a bunch of it in and in, in the freezer. So I'll have some meals. Like I took out that that uh, pulled pork that I made about a month ago. I just took some of that out now. So I'm finally learning my lesson. Instead of eating lasagna all week, I'll put some in the freezer and save it. So freeze as well. Super easy. All the directions and uh, and the ingredients are down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, any other ideas with the slow cooker you want me to try, I'll try anything once. So this is the Colonel signing off. See you next time.